Thank you. Hello and welcome back and welcome once again to WKNI TV 25 Studios. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, we're, we're glad to have uh, some fair weather friends from south of uh, the border here uh, coming into our studios. But we got Jim and Bob from Alabama Precious Metals. And Bob, welcome. Jim, again, welcome. Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah show it up again. I mean, at least you got a 100% record where this man kind of shows up when he wants to. You know, Eddie, I just, I repent. I should have been here last time. Hey, I'm sorry, forgive me. But I want to tell you something. I like the New Year's figure that you pulled off. Hey, look Since at I've that. been here now, you have become skinny mini. Well, I'm working on that. You know, I, I said, I, I'm on a diet, okay, I've been talking about it on the air with the folks, and uh, the New Year's and, and uh, Christmas dinners, I gave myself gratis. I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and eat what I want on Christmas, I'm going to eat what I want on New Year's Day, and, and you know, break the, the cycle and, and go on. I have been so charged with this new feeling and the way I am. I sat down at Christmas dinner at my daughter's house. We were in Florida for the holiday. And uh, I ate smart. Yeah. I could I didn't eat none of the sweets. They had cookies, they had all this stuff going on. And I said, man, I'm gonna tear into that. They had pies, uh, fried foods, the whole nine yards, and I stayed away from it all. I didn't even eat have white bread. And I sat there and I said, I'm just gonna keep going. You know, and I've got this game I play where I check my sugar after I eat after a couple hours, mm -hmm. and I have a guideline, and it was perfect the whole time I was down there. Yeah. And New Year's I did the same thing. So I cheated last night uh, down in uh, Florella uh, at the Huddle House down there, uh, waiting on uh, Mike Jones and Senator Holly. They had a uh, uh, town, what do they call that? Town hall, town hall meeting down there. And, uh, I saw that more through than french fries in that fire, and I said, I just got to have well, some A couple of, of them. Huh? A couple of them. But I, I did cheat last night. But thank you. <coughs> thank you for noticing. Thank you. Uh, but man, how was your holiday? Mine was good. I think Jim's was good. Uh, of course, you've seen Jim since you've seen me. Yeah, I know. We were wondering whether, you know, you and Precious took off. Well, uh, I heard about this didn't. now. We didn't. We didn't, but I wanted. To, I had to come up here and check on her. I talked to Jim. I said, "We need to go see Precious." And I said, "I'm having Eddie withdrawals. <laughs> and Teresa withdrawals." I know you said the same thing. That you know, Bob, we miss Eddie and Teresa. Well, see, I know Jim. I know there's a little stretcher because I talked to Jim on the phone. Yeah. See, don't I, Jim? Yes. We talk often on the yeah. phone. So you don't even give me your phone number. I can't even call you. Eddie, I'm sorry. So he, Jim, there's something going on here. It's called a baby fit. Okay, and then he tries to make up with sweetness when he comes back. I just said you look like you, you look like you're uh, 16 years old, weigh 185 oh, pounds. Oh, yeah, okay, boy. That, that, uh, and that what I said. Paige, when you watch this, you know I didn't call him a storyteller. Paige, I miss you too. I'm coming out to see you today. We miss you. Me and Jim will come and see you with this girl. Jim seen her. I know, but that's yeah. that's the whole thing, you know. Jim has been doing what he said he was going to do. Just go ahead and throw me up on the bus. I oh, am, buddy. Do you got those tandem tires going over you? I yet? have felt. I got tracks going by. I'm telling you, there you go. No. <laughs> How's the family? Man, my babies. My wife is good. My best. and uh, had a great holiday. You know, I do the we do the family thing. That's uh, what it's about. You yeah. know, and uh, spend time with them. Uh, Spent time with my mom and dad. Uh, my mom and dad are 91. Both of them still are. Wow. Gosh. And so we make, we make special time uh, to spend with them. You know, we do a, uh, we, do, we, we celebrate Christmas for what Christmas for was for the birth of our Savior. And, uh, and that's what it's about. You know, a lot of folks get confused, and we hear people all the time saying, you know, keep Christ in Christmas. Yeah. And, and uh, this year I kind of... Uh, went on that tangent as well yeah. because there there's so many entities out there trying to take Christ out of everything yeah. you know without this Christmas there will never have been an opportunity for salvation that's right and you know something is and without salvation there's there's no there's, there's nothing good yeah. all this that's what it's all about you know it's about being godly but you know the Bible says no one comes to the Father except through me 
and without salvation, without the blood of Jesus, nothing, nothing matters. Right. And you'll know what you are by the fruits that you bear. That's it. That's it. And uh, we uh, certainly uh, know what that is in this house, in this station. And, uh, we've made lots of changes over the past year, and we're fixing to make lots more changes over the upcoming year. I'm excited. You know, yeah. so I remember we were talking. I love, I love the location. Me and Jim talk about your location. We love to come see you. And you know, I want you to realize, as hard as time as you give me, I leave my house. Hold on. I don't give him a hard Come on, folks. Let me tell you don't something. give him a hard time. Let me tell you, I have, ladies and gentlemen, when I leave here that you don't know, I have teeth marks up and down my oh, back from geez. any chewing on me. Well, we're off the channel. He abuses me. I want to let you know right now. I love him, but there is no doubt he does not have dentures. Because he chews on me all the time. Well, where you been, Bob? What you doing, Bob? Are oh, you mad at me, Bob? Precious don't like you anymore, Bob. He tells me Precious don't like me anymore, Bob. Priscilla, you abandoned her. She was Priscilla. Yeah, she's you know, in the back room right Jim now. Is, Jim is like, Bob, then I, have you got Jim on me too? Because Jim says, did you abandon Eddie? I says, come on, Jim. My boy, Jim and me are talking the truth, right, Jim? I think there's a conspiracy going on here. There's a one-man conspiracy trying to <laughs> dump it all <laughs> on two others. Uh, but, uh, I'm, uh, let me tell you, my partner here, I'm blessed. He's uh, he's more than a partner. He's, he's done a friend. well. Yeah. He's, uh, and I would tell you something. Uh, both he, of us have uh, the lifestyle living for Jesus now. And we both make serious commitments. You know, we... Uh, we try just not to live it by saying it, but to live it through uh, through our actions of our hands and the way we have ourselves. And and that's you know like you got great people work for you too. Got man, we got you are blessed. Great uh, people. Paige, uh, you know I, I know her. Obviously, we go over there and talk to her. We just go over there just to go see her. I mean, just you know. Uh, I mean, okay, if you don't like Paige, Paige, there's something wrong. Absolutely. Our uh, Paige is about as straight up as you can get. Yep. Now, if you ask Paige a question, you be prepared because you're gonna get the right, you're gonna get an answer. And if she don't know, she she'll, will find out. She'll call me. one of us and we'll find out. But uh, Paige is uh, straight from the world. We're blessed to have her. Every and, time uh, she had a question for me, you know who she called? Jim. Jim. Okay, I love that. You know something? <laughs> That's what she's supposed to call. And guess what? If Jim doesn't know, he'll call Bob. That's exactly right. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, the last hit. It's like but, a chain of command. Oh, uh, yeah. but no, uh, uh, another bump on the bus. It's amazing how long, how good everybody gets along. Uh, we're just blessed. you guys are awesome. I enjoy having you all come out here every month, and, and uh, it's a highlight of my month because we get to talk. You know, yeah, you're here about business. Oh, yeah. Okay, we, we, we know that you have Andalusia Precious Metals over there on the bypass, and you're in business for, you know, uh, buying gold and silver. But it's not just about that. You'll come on here, you'll talk about God, you'll talk about family, uh, and it excites me. And I just think the air conditioner went on. I, th I, th I think what it is, the heat came on and it's blowing the cold air on you before hey, before you know, the heat so gets down. That's why I asked you, I'm why, sitting here why didn't you turn on this heater over I here? Lie. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to realize, I've come up here to see Eddie, and he's got snowballs coming out of his vents right now. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I well, mean, Teresa, we're going to commercial break. i got to find out what happened to the heater. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I have been set up. Oh, my buddy, my buddy on my left and Eddie on my right has put me together like an eight-day clock. Well, I'll tell you what, just go to them real quick on camera, and, and uh, I'm going to let you two talk about Alabama Precious Metals. I'm going to run over okay. here to the you go, You're going to fix the heat? I'm going to try, man. That's cold air, isn't it? I, and, you, and on that heavy years, you know it's cold. It's, it's been there. <laughs> it's been there for a while. Yeah, well, Eddie's up. You know, one good thing, uh, that uh, we are kicking the new year off right. You know, that we want to do people right. As always, we want to tell people, come in and see us. Uh, come in and see us for just to stop in. If y'all hadn't stopped in and met Paige, I think, Jim, you'll say they've missed out. She but yeah, she carries, she, she carries our banner so well here yeah. in Andalusia. And we're blessed to have people in the store, other stores in, in, in Geneva and in Troy and you know, in Marlboro. You know, we never get a chance to really talk about no. Pam in Geneva. Pam, when you get a hold of this, I want you to know. Now, I know I say you're a pain. Jim says you're a pain, but we love you. Guess what? Like peanut butter and jelly. I still say. feel that cold air. Can't I still feel that cold air. <laughs> it's freezing us in here. But 
I'm we are, on it. Bob and I are going to be in the store for a while this morning. If anybody's got any questions, if y'all w- wanted to come by and talk with us, uh, mm. I have an appointment in just a little while with a man that's bringing in uh, a coin collection or some coins that I'm going to take a look at to see if they have some collector value. Uh, Bob will be there if anybody has any uh, real nice jewelry, any diamonds, any stones that, that they would like evaluated, bring them in to us while we're You know, something else that I do is I love wristwatches, especially I do pocket watches, but you know, I love wristwatches. That is probably my, my weakness. So uh, if there was anything that I like personally, you know it is, is, is wristwatches. You still cold? I'm turning that off. Hey. <laughs> What, can we turn this other heater on? No. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But, you know, then, you know, there's... there's I then. think it, it, might be, it might be frozen up out there, it outside. Might We've had electric... We told you that when you all came in. Everything electrical around here has been acting up. Well, you know, so we got Pam. Then, we, you know, there's uh, Michelle and Troy, which we have to talk about. Yep. And, you know, something we need for people that... Mm-hmm. That uh, that's not in the area of Andalusia. You know, we'd like people to know that we you know we've got locations in Geneva, or we got people in Troy, we've got people in Monroeville, and if something else, you know, we've done many fundraisers for many organizations, including which you did extensively was March of Dimes and uh, Relay of Life, which yes. you did huge yeah. amounts of money for them and you collected for them. That's done great things, you know, in the community there, and the people need to know that. You know that we're uh, we're still available to do fundraisers if if, if if it, there's an organization, a church organization, or a charity. If they want to do charity, just give us a call. And we'll talk. We'll explain how we do it and how we can work it for them. Because it's the easiest fundraiser than anybody will ever do. We we do everything. All they have to do is get the people to come in and yeah. see us. So Did you get that hurricane turned off? I got it turned off. It took it five minutes just to shut off. You know, you left us here, it's just hanging with Oh, the I was over there getting cold, too. It, it, was, <laughs> it just left us hanging here, but, uh, you know, I'm glad, glad we were, I'm glad we were able to Those things in. take about a half hour to warm up, Do so they? we'll be off the It's air, like the old radiators. Yeah. Everybody's wondering, what are they talking about? Do they know they're on the air? Yeah, if, we're live. I just want to tell live. everybody, if y'all want to come by the store today, as far as I know right now, it's a lot warmer in the store than it, it is, is in the studio. <laughs> Thank you. If y'all want to come by, we promise you. If it, and I, we'll turn the heat up for you. I want y'all to know that when they came in the door, they were complimenting on how warm it was in here and how nice it was. Now, when the air conditioning Actually, the up, truth is I've been freezing there. Every every time. Time. <laughs> I was thinking about going to have the car and get my, my heavy jacket. Yeah, we, need to get, the car. we need to get yeah. him a snuggie. Mm-hmm. There's still you know something home. in here. Uh, I'm sitting yeah. here. Uh, oh, oh golly. 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 They're, they're throwing me under the bus. Well, tell me what you got going on. I'm because, I mean, you've, you've moved it here this year, which is oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You do live television on the outside, which is cool as it could be. This past weekend, if you would have been here, you would have fell over. We had cars from the 1920s, uh, 60s, uh, muscle cars, the whole, night, the whole square was Sweet. covered. Sweet, wow. Them. And uh, we, I was the cook, I was cooking the uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, and Snowden sausage. And uh, Snowden gives us a sausage. To that's sweet. That's really great. They do something like that. And uh, fed the guys out there, the girls. And uh, it was a great event. It was a kickoff to the uh, Smithsonian uh, event that we're having here in, in Coven- or Andalusia. Uh, over the next 30 days. It's the way we wow. worked. Uh, not the way we were, but the way we worked. And it goes back about how uh, the lifestyles of the way people worked and what they used and, and over the years, over the centuries, and uh, about this area. So it's pretty cool, wow. as it is in here. <laughs> uh, I figured I'd throw that in there because I knew you were nah. getting ready to throw me. But g- let's go back to your, your uh, store for a second because we, Teresa and I cleared out her jewelry box. We tell people all the time on here to do that. Yeah. All right. You look in the jewelry box, you go, eh, ain't nothing in there. We went through it and, and I started pulling things out and I, I had my little loop and I was looking to see 14 carat, 18 carat. By the way, uh, Paige loves my loop. She says, y'all ought to get her one like mine. It's got the light on it. I appreciate you doing that on air. Yeah. Yeah. Paige. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, I'm going to buy her loop now. Yeah. Jim, she you know said, something? That's partner. Mm-hmm. Did you put a 
Did you feel the abrasion something go? In this that was the warm air that was Was that covered. the warm air that he was throwing back up on us? I don't feel that air. Yet. I don't feel that air yet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I've got a light on my that lights up and you can see and everything. But uh, she liked it. Very That's your little with a pop out light hit mm -hmm. button. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, long about that long, usually yeah. about that I can long. go get it for you if you well, want Well, the, the thing about it, see, you use it just every once in a while, but in the store, we're using oh, the constant all day, day yeah. long. The battery and the light will go out fairly Yeah, quickly. mine went out already, That's why we too. have a big light there in the store yeah. to light things but, up. So. But anyway, yeah. we cleared out our jewelry box. Uh -huh. And, and uh, I ended up with a couple of bags, or, you know, little bags of, of stuff. We took it up there. And stuff that... Teresa don't wear, I don't use, I don't even know where it came from, okay, type stuff. And uh, we took it up there, and it paid for our vacation down to Florida. Sweet. I mean, it was like, really? You know, and, and uh, Paige was like, yeah, we, she, she had done this all week long or past couple weeks. Because I sat there and I said, I bet you ain't heard this, but you just bought my way down to Florida by buying this. And she's, I've been hearing that all week long. Yeah. And people coming in and, and bringing in stuff and getting, you know, the money back in return and, and buying Christmas for the family and stuff. So there's, there's, and what I want to say is, I'll, if you go to, I don't want to blast pawn shops, but I got to because they're, they're, there's no comparison between you and a pawn shop. And and you go to a pawn shop, you're not going to get nowhere near the money that you're going to get from y'all. And, and so I'm, I go to a pawn shop, get it priced, what they're going to give you for it, then go see y'all. Well, we tell people to shop. You know, we tell people, Jim tells people. Jim does it even more. I mean, Jim is emphatic. Hey, take it. We want you to maximize it. I've seen Jim say, listen, you've got this here. I'm going to make you a suggestion because we want you to maximize every dollar you get opportunity. And I'm telling you, Jim is the best about it. He says, listen, he says, you've got this. It might not be worth this much to us, but we want you to maximize this somewhere else and give people ideas. And how I many he will look it up and do research. I've seen him do hours and hours of research on coins and such, even foreign monies, uh, to find out because we want people to get the most money they can for because they come back. Yeah. And you know, we tell people shop, man. You're we getting you get a lot of return customers as well. Our our customer return rate is <laughs> it's higher than nine out of ten. Right. I'm oh. telling you, it's, high, it's higher, but it, but it's not the, the customer return rate. It's the friend return rate off the customer or the relative return rate off the customer. It's not the return rate of the customer you're looking for. You want that, yes, but Jim and Tim, we want not that. We want the return rate off the friend and the relative. Right. So in other words, you know, a good word goes a long way. It's not unusual for us to, I know I was in the Geneva <coughs> store uh, right before Christmas and a lady came in that I actually recognized her face I did but she was a repeat customer coming in the store she had her two sisters with her one from Atlanta and one I think from Nashville who were coming down to visit but they had brought all their scrap gold mm -hmm. and silver stuff with them down there because the sister said you need to bring it down here and we ended up buying from these two ladies that are surrounded by a lot lot more stores that do the same thing you know, in large cities because we paid we paid more than they could have gotten can i tell you what i did places. So. on my vacation i took some of that silver and stuff down with me to see because i was in orlando yeah there's a store on every corner and uh, there is place. but you know what you guys i I took a Troy ounce, okay? In fact, I carried it in my pocket, maybe. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't this morning, but I call it my lucky coin. It's one of the Morgan Troy ounces uh -huh. that, that I got from y'all. And, and uh, I handed it to the guy, and it was, a, it was a gold, silver buy store. And there was like four or five of them in a row. And I took it in, and I said, what would y'all give me for this? Now, mind you, that day, silver was 20, almost $21 an ounce, Yeah. okay, right around Christmas. He looked at it, and he goes on the computer, and he says, well, we take the human factor out, and he's going through all this explanation, okay, and he says, I'll give you $12 for that coin. Yeah. I said, no, you won't. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's almost half of what the melt of, of that coin or that troy ounce was. And uh, 
I sat there and I said, man, I said, you know, and I went to the next one. It was $10. Well, I think what it is a lot of times, they'll give you what it never takes to buy. You know, if I had a lady come in and she's got a ring and, you know, and, and I ask, I want to, I want to pay for what it's worth, but, you know, I ask them if there's a number you're looking for. And I will, if that number that sounds too low, I will go to what number it should be. But the or, thing, the, the, we, we will pay 90%. That we'll, see, pay, we'll pay 90%. For, for any silver or gold bullion that you've got, you and that's what I had was gold we'll or silver 90, bullion. Yeah, we'll yeah. give you 90% of the price. Yeah. Well, see, I asked the first guy that. I sat there and I said, now look. I said, now where I'm from, they'll give me 90%. Yeah. Of, of what it is today. See, you had a bullion coin. Right. A straight one out bullion. bullion. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. And people need to realize, when you have a straight bullion coin, it's, it's cut and dry. Even in buying old coins, a lot of times it's wore slap out. Right. You'd be surprised what's wore off of them. But we got a bullion coin. That means there's no if, ands, or buts, and those very, no variation. It doesn't matter how worn it is. Doesn't matter. Well, when you got a bullion coin, you're going to know exactly what it right. is. Even but some of the old money, old old money, it has been rubbed off. I mean, when you see them slick like that. But when you got a coin like you're talking about, it's cut and dry. You know exactly what it is. You know exactly what it's worth. It's click. And that's that right. fast. You don't have to look anything up. Well, he, like, he, he took the human factor out of it. And then I looked at him and I said, man, I'm glad I got somebody up where you I'm know at. Something? Well, the, the human factor in his case was the, how much he was going to rip you off in buying that coin. Well, yeah. Yeah. well, did he not say that, Teresa? He said, the we're taking the I don't know what the human factor I've never, yeah. I've never had like, that involved. You know something? I prefer... And I will tell you this to everyone here. We consider the human factor. We care about what you think. We're not going to press you. And we care. Yeah. Let's put the, we want the human factor involved. This one, because it matters to what, the way we treat people. The human factor is the most important fact, what we do business with. It is the most important. He took the, he took the consideration out of you of walking in there. I'm dealing with Eddie. Yeah. Personally. Jim is dealing with Teresa personally. Paige is dealing with people, the Johns and the Bills and the Marys and the Miss Allisons, personally. And guess what? We're a small town. You're going to be coming back. I'm going to tell you what else I saw down there, that, that, and I, wanted, I want to share this with you because it's important that, that folks know, please go somewhere else and shop. Yeah, please we do. want that. Because I did it. Because I, I wasn't doubting y'all. I just wanted to have sure. the personal experience. Same bullion coin, exact identical bullion coin, was sitting in his uh, showcase. Do you know what price he had on it? $35. No, sir. 40 No, sir. Higher? Teresa, how much was that coin? $109, and that was marked down. That was marked down from $200. Oh, I wonder if he wants to buy any. Well, <laughs> that's what I asked him. I said, that's what I was fixing, Jim. Yeah, and then if he had... If you'll give me 90% of that, we'll take him some. Yeah. He had a 1922, uh, what is it, Morgan? Or is it that, that's the uh, piece. Peace dollar. Peace, peace dollar. dollar. Okay, I get him confused. He had 1922 peace dollar. Looked beautiful, okay? No markings, it was just plain 22. $200 in the case. It would have had to have been something crazy special with yeah. Jim for well, that, wouldn't it? I, I, I was like... Totally uncirculated and probably, I mean, it was 64. No, it, was, yeah, it, it wasn't there. I know what you know, we're talking about, but that same bullion coin, the same bullion coin, he had in there for $109. Yeah, well, that's... And I said, well, how come you can't give me half of what you got in that one? Yeah. And he goes, no. He says, well, I'll sell you that one for $35. So in other words, if you came in and bought it for 109, he just he, he, got yeah, gigged. Yeah, you know, a so. lot of times these guys are set up for for a walk-in person. Like, hey, I'm just going to spend 100 dollars on a gift. It looks pretty. I and want it looks it. good. But then yeah. he said, 30, impulse. Then he said 35. Yeah. Then before I left, he said, "Well, I'll tell you what." He said, "Sounds like you know what you're talking about." <laughs> I don't want to say that too many times. Sounds like I knew what I was <laughs> talking about. And he says, uh, you, you, "You know, he's all that you have for 35." I said, "I bet you will." I said, I'll give, I'll give you $15 for it. Yeah. 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 I said, I'll give you $15 for it, and I'll walk out the door with it. He's all, I can't do that, that human factor, again. Well, what's the human, human factor on him selling to? Why don't you take out the human factor when you're buying it from him? Uh, well, yeah. I, I really wrote his case a little bit. In fact, his manager came out a little bit, really? kind of gave me the evil eye. 
and, and I left. But I went down a couple of doors, and I don't know if they called ahead, but, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I got pretty much well. the same answer. But you're not going to get that at Alabama Precious Metals. Miss Page, when you guys aren't there, she, when you walk in that door, I don't care if she knows you or don't know you, it's a smile and hello and, and, and welcome. And how may I help you? Always. That's exactly what she says. How may I help you? And, yeah. and they'll give her, you know, whatever, and she'll sit down with them. And she's very professional with the people and, and explains everything to them. And uh, I, I, I'm just telling you, y'all, I'm glad we have that type of a business in this yeah, community. Thank you. You know, we care. Jim cares. Uh, we, you know, and can I we, tell you first before you get running? I'm going to run off my mouth. It's New Year. That's changing. <laughs> Just kidding. You put God in your system, okay? You got God factor. Don't worry about the human factor. You got the God factor, yeah. and when y'all put the God factor in there, it deals with the human factor. Wow. And and you're not, you know, I I'll tell you what. If I took this here and I'd say here, you know, tell me how much this is worth, and you gave me a price on it, there would not even be a hesitation on no. it from me thank because you. I knew that we thank we you. thank we thank yeah. you Pretty we sure. thank you and uh, you know something it's uh, there's a word that's not used very often but we want to treat people honorably yeah. and that honor you know we want to honor you know we want to honor our heavenly Father and you know something it's, it's the first and foremost by the way that we treat each other. And uh, if you can't serve another person by the way you treat somebody, you've missed it anyway. So. All right. Well, i got to ask you all. We're getting short on time, although we did have a glitch or two. We can keep going. <laughs> you mean the snow you, you're talking about snow It's still you're talking cold about in here. You know something, ladies and gentlemen, he's got a snowman behind you. You can't see it. It's, it's even starting warm air to come out here. Is it, is it wow. Okay. My lips have chapped that, since I've been in here. Between that and the sun coming through the window, it's starting to warm up it in No, my lips have gotten chapped since I've been in here. It has. Uh, well, I'm going to put a... So go ahead. We didn't mean to interrupt. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> you know, uh, so uh, how'd you like the football game the other day? <laughs> oh, she's talking to me? I'm sorry. What which football game are you talking about? Uh, yeah. You know, Pasadena, Rose Bowl. You know something? I was, I'm a I'm big, but Jim's a alumni, was at Auburn, played there, and I'm an Alabama fan, no doubt, but I was pulling for Auburn so hard. I wanted Auburn to win. I, I wanted to keep it in the state. Uh, I think they did great. I think that uh, that Auburn had a great year. You know, uh, they've got a great coach uh, that's driven. And I just, uh, I wish it could have stayed. He's good. got a bus. Well, I, yeah. I, I, and I was sitting down there. I've got, I've got kids, grandkids, uh, <coughs> in-laws and outlaws that went to FSU. And now my, my daughter and, and some of my grandchildren are, are Auburn. But, they, uh, no, your so bleeds, so bleeds my stepson all. told me, and, and my stepson and his dad went to the ball game. And Robert, my, my husband-in-law, uh, <laughs> Robert went. <laughs> That's a new one, isn't it? Uh, husband, husband in law. In law. Okay. Uh, Robert went to Auburn too, and so in uh, between Robert and I, my my stepsons have all been raised uh, in Auburn. Well, Andrew, the oldest one, is at FSU because he had done so well in school. He had all kind of scholarships he could get. We live in Niceville, and so he had Florida scholarships. He. And he went to FSU. He he always wanted to go to Auburn, but when they went out there, Andrew had on his Auburn jerseys, and they they actually went to Vegas and with a bunch of alumni and took buses over to Pasadena and went to the ball game. They're coming home today. Yeah. So, well, I'll uh, tell you that was I, you know I posted on Facebook. There's a lot of you know things going on and and, and people getting upset and stuff and saying things. My whole thing was this year was the first year that I have become involved in college football in a very, very long time. Something changed where the, the, the set up, the playing, the, the schedules were set right. This was the perfect storm. We had four consecutive perfect storms in college football that, that money can't buy. Yeah, I mean, you know, when the game was over, you may have been rooting for the a, a team, and and they may have won, 
But you also felt bad for the team that lost because they played so good. And, and now I was pulling secretly behind the scenes for Auburn this time. All right, because like you, I wanted it to stay in the, in the state of Alabama. I'm from Florida, but I'm also an alumnus Gator. Okay. Well, you know, you got to well, go. The, it's going to turn around. Yeah. Okay. That was my Christmas gift it's for my gonna, daughter. It's going to turn around yeah, for Florida. Right. He's, he's, he's done a good job. He's got some good recruits. You think they'll turn around before 2020? Uh, <laughs> Listen to him. Well, that's a long time, Bob. I think that's, that's I think like Gators are going to pop out. this coming year. It's going to, it's going to, they're going to get better. You yeah. think it's so? It's going to get harder for Auburn and Alabama to win the football game. Florida Gators are going to whoop FSU. Well, and their iron ball. They, they, and they, the swamp. They, and the swamp they, this next year. Yeah. They better get some real good recruits because that bunch from FSU, most of them Dang. are coming back. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, going back to the Auburn game, that punter that they've got is awesome. That, 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 uh, yeah, I can't remember his name. He's a weapon. He, he, he's a weapon. One yard line, half a yard it's line. It's amazing he's, that he weapon. does it every time he kicks that ball and it he's hits weapon. on the one yard line and bounces back. Yep. I mean, he's the, he is, the, the he young is, is going to make a lot of money in the NFL. Punt. Let me tell you, nice. when you can place that ball, a quarterback and a punter that can place the ball the way that man yeah. did uh, was just fantastic. He is. Realistically, he had he, six punts in the FSU game and yeah, none, uh, none of them were returned. Yeah. yeah. He is a valuable asset to an NFL team somewhere. Well, I, and I got to hand it to uh, James's on, on uh, uh, Florida State. He done a, a, a great save of the game. But see, yeah. FSU is known for that at the end to, to come back strong. If you let them have that ball in the last couple <sighs> of minutes of the game, they're going to score yeah. somehow or another. But uh, again, guys, this is the most interested in college football that I have been in years. And, and I'm excited, looking forward to next year, because uh, SEC, BCS, whatever you want to call it, whoever put this together, they, these were the best bowls that I've seen in, 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 in decades. They were good this year. You know, uh, it was like you couldn't turn the TV off. I mean, I remember watching these bowls last year, year before, and, and before that. You just watch it through the first quarter, and you go, hey, you know, and, and walk away and go do something else. This year, you were like this, watching them. Yeah. Alabama done a great job this year. Yes, they didn't get the titles, but they, you know, great team. Yeah. Great team, uh, great coach. That's what we have. We have great coaches. We have great players, and, and uh, all of them need to win. I mean, there should never have been a, a, a win lose on any of that. But anyway, well, listen, that was all good today. I missed you. Thank you for having me back. Are yeah. you leaving? I thought, I thought you were throwing me out. The yeah, door. we are. We're getting out of here. Bye. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> <laughs> He's taking that's over right. the show. That's all right. We're going You're, out. Y'all come see us. He, he's he's, he's over ahead. here going. I see. I'm trying to get. Jim. We're trying to get out to the car where the heater is. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you something. I like seeing, but do do me a favor next time. I don't some heat up in this place. Man, it was on when you came in. And it just quit. I you know something? My fingers are blue on the end. See this? <laughs> They're blue on the end because of this. Let me ask you one question. What are we doing? Where have you eaten good lately? Because I used to, we hang out, we go eat lunch in places, and we eat lunch next door, which has been great food, and we go to David's uh, Catfish. Do I need to go down to David's Catfish? Where is it? It's straight up 29. When you go to the light up here, make a left to yeah. your store. What you doing for lunch today? Going to lunch with you. That's exactly what okay. I'm talking about. Because th let me tell you what they got. They got the uh, basket for five ninety nine. A basket? A basket. Are they got any fries in there? Yes. Uh oh. No, but no, it's it's fried food. Okay, and and I'm. Well, you got a splurge. I, I'm I'm gonna have the chicken strips because man, they have you ever had chicken strips that melt in your mouth? I'm going to today, obviously. They are fantastic. I'm going to David's. You know, so there was one. Uh, there was a David's one time in. Uh, in Spanish Fort and after and we love going there, but I'm glad it's we're looking forward to going to lunch today. Teresa, I know you're going too. Everybody No, going. she can't go. She's gotta work on that heater. No. <laughs> you know something? That's abusive. That is you know something, how do you put up with it? Is that what it is? Thirty eight years, baby. Hey, amen. Folks, Alabama Precious Metals located on the uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard up there next to Domino's Pizza. Uh, there's another good place too. Do you know Willie? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. That oh, guy yeah. is a character. You know, you, <laughs> he's a lot of fun. Really nice I would guy. tell you something. There, uh, we've actually, on that little strip we're in, there's some great businesses. Yep. Great yeah. businesses. You and got the movie gallery place, I think it is. Yes. You've got the uh, the guys that do the toes and the feet. They uh, must be the only one in town. That place stays so busy. Man, I went by there and talked really to them good. about advertising. They said, why? Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Get in line. Get yeah. in line. Yeah, I haven't had one Which of those is great. yet. I was really expecting you to give me a gift certificate to go have my feet done. You know, there. hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want everybody to realize this right now. Uh, let me tell you something. And I proclaim this openly in front of everybody. Today, I am buying Eddie a <laughs> pedicure <laughs> and manicure today next door after lunch. <laughs> If anybody wants to see Eddie with his feet naked. <laughs> oh, that's going to really... No, no, no. I'm serious. If I I'm, I'm, this is going to happen today. He's doing we'll this on our TV yes, station. I want to you read. to realize you this. Eddie will be at the nail t t uh, tech place beside Alabama Precious Bells. Bring your goods if you want to. We'll look. But in the meantime, bring your camera. And we're going to take this. You do have a Facebook page. And he will, I believe, he will go to Facebook. And he, we're doing... We're doing the manicure, the pedicure, the manicure today. <laughs> Come by and see Eddie today. We'll look forward to it. We we'll eat lunch. Y'all well, have him there after lunch. Since Bob's yeah. spending all our money, y'all please come by and sell us something. You know today, something? So we'll be able to afford to pay cash. Pay for cash, <laughs> cash for this deal. Hey, I'm going to leave that heat off longer. <laughs> this is what happened today. Uh, I'm going to leave the heater off more because that way I get, yeah, boy, the benefits. Everybody, it's the day. Remember, today. <laughs> Folks, come on by. I, I, I'm not sure about a pedicure, but. but no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he said pedicure. I am calling him out. Uh, I got an appointment after lunch. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> get your nails done. <laughs> get your nails done. Listen, you know something? Teresa, can you can you film him getting his no? Toes she, the camera broke. Remember, <laughs> I am going to have my cell phone over there oh, tonight. Jeez, I'm usually not a social media technical. Why guy. do they do this to me? I am so nice to them. You know, yeah, so hey. I, I come up here. Jim's to, cold. You gotta go. He's gonna throw. He's gonna us out the door again. That's okay. That's he all right. Today it's okay. <laughs> today. You know, <laughs> you see, see what what today. <laughs> He's ready to he's ready to run, man. Ladies and gentlemen, be by there this afternoon. Anybody wants you know something? Anybody who wants the good on Eddie, be there. It's good day. Watch this. Come on by and see precious hey, and watch precious this. metals. Yeah, and yeah. I see Paige and, 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 and Bob might be there. That's right. See Paige. But you need to come by and see if he can truly climb a tree with these toes. <laughs> Today. Today. Today it is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all come by and see us. Come see us. <laughs> keep it real. Keep God in it. <laughs> First Bye. time I've ever seen him. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>